In this video of Oracle SQL, we will cover the unique constraint. Unique constraint basically is used to ensure like any particular column would be having a unique value means it is a non-duplicate value. You can easily pass the unique constraint in a field like mobile number or email ID in which you don't want any duplications. So this unique constraint, if you want to add these unique constraint, again, you may or may not pass the name of a constraint. It's again optional for this or all the constraints, but this constraint can be added on the column level or table level. So if you will add this constraint on the column level, it will only be added specifically in that column only means it will ensure the uniqueness of that column only. But if you want to pass this constraint on the table level, you can either apply it on the single column or multiple column. If you pass it on a single column, it will behave like same if you pass it as a column level. But if you want to pass multiple columns with the unique constraint, it will not check the uniqueness of a single value, but it will check the uniqueness of the whole combination of all the columns on which you have applied it. For example, if I have a couple of tables, like this is a table A in which there are two columns like C1 and C2, and in both the columns I have applied the unique constraint separately. So if I will enter 1, 1, it is unique. If I enter 2, 3, it's again unique. But if I will enter 4 and 1, so this will give you an error. Why? Because this particular column is decorated with the unique constraint. So it will not allow you to pass the duplicate value. As 1 is already here, you cannot enter the 1 again. But if in another case, I have the same table with the column called C1 and C2, and here, if you apply a common unique constraint, then the combination uniqueness will be noticed. For example, 1, 1 is fine, 1, 2 is again fine, 1, 3 is again fine. Since you can see there are the repeated values, but I have not specifically added the uh, constraint on this C1 column. It is a combination this time. So 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3 are the unique combinations. If you will enter it like a 1, 2 again, then it will not be done because this combination is already present. So whenever you want to add the unique constant or uh, at the table level, and if you want to pass multiple columns into that, it will be happening in that case. So let's see how we can start working with the unique constraint practically. To add a unique constraint in a table by the time you are creating a new table, so it's a syntax is straightforward, like the create table syntax will remain same, like create table, sample to, and after that you can simply put the uh, parenthesis to start the column description. So let's say I have a column like, like call one, and here I'll put the data type, let's say number and the constraint description. So for that, I will use the constraint keyword, the constraint name that is sample two underscore call one underscore then any name like unique since it's unique constraint. After that, the type of constraint like unique. All right. So this particular column will be taking only a unique value means if you will pass any duplicate data it will not accept that so again i am adding this unique constraint at, at column level because by the time i am defining this column this constraint has been added but if i want to add the constraint at the runtime means at the table level then let's see the disc, uh, syntax of that for that i'll say another column first like let's say number again. I'm not bothered about the data type right now. All right. So you can pass anything you want. And after that, you can separate with comma again, the third column. Once you are done with all the columns, you can close it. But here it's not over. I want to add a constraint as well. So when you are done with all the columns def uh, definition while defining a table, at last you can start defining the constraint. So for that, constraint keyword then constraint name let's say sample 
underscore unique sample two underscore unique that's the constraint name and after that you can pass the constraint name since it is at call table level you'll have to specify in the parenthesis like in which column you want to pass this unique constraint so for that I'll pass a column called call2 alright and after that I can close it and can execute it you can also pass a number of columns which we have already discussed earlier like you can separate them with a comma and you can apply a single constraint on multiple columns once you are doing that means a single value uniqueness you single column uniqueness will not be uh, considered but the combination value uniqueness will be considered so let's say enter and here you can see the table created and obviously these uh, this table is with, will be decorated by the unique constraint but if I want to pass this constraint in an already existing table such as employees on which we were working so far so suppose in the column like email and mobile number I want to pass the unique constraint here I will not go for this option because obviously uh, I don't want to compare the uh, combination of mobile number and email ID I simply want to check the uh, individual uniqueness of both the columns so let's say how can we can do that so alter table employees and after that uh, names are not case sensitive so it's okay uh, add constraint constraint name let's say employee underscore email underscore unique and after that the type of constraint means it's pretty straightforward constraint constraint name and then constraint type all right and here you can pass the column name make sure the column name should be exactly same case sensitivity is not an issue but the name should be exactly same so let's terminate with the semicolon and you can see table altered and very similarly I can do that for the mobile number as well so mobile uniqueness and here I need to change the column name again that is mobile number and you can see both the columns has been marked as the unique constraint so this is how you can pass the unique constraint on a table which is already created or if you are going to create a new table.